from Wexford in Ireland and this week I have a great idea for a new series of videos and thanks very much to Fran for the original inspiration and for Elizabeth about her um, suggestion about succession planting, something on succession planting. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a series of 12 videos, one each month, always looking at the same border. So we can look at that border and see what's looking good in it, talk about the plants in it a little bit at the same time every month and just see how it changes during the seasons. So it's the 30th of March today and we're taking a look at this border. I call this border my cherry tree border because of the uh, tall cherry tree there in the middle. It's a Morello cherry and the border backs on to a farmer's field behind. So you can see that there's a kind of native hedgerow there behind the border um, leading to that gorse there on the right. And this border it's almost four years old so um, let's have a look at the detail of what's in it. But before I do that actually I'll just pan up to the top. So this is uh, the lower end and then just walking up here, oops. To the top section here. Finishing with my pot tidy. That's my pot tidy, the place where I keep my pots. Yes. Down at this end of the border, what's looking good right now is this little primrose in here. And this is one of the Kennedy primroses called Drum Cliff. And in fact, last year after, I mean, this started off with three specimens. And last year after they finished flowering, I divided them up. So you can see that the primrose is kind of scattered through this border. After it flowers this year, I'll probably take that big clump there up and um, divide that as well. But it's a very good doer, this particular primrose. And um, although I don't like the ones with the dark foliage leaves because, well, they just look lost against dark, bare earth at this time of year, this one is very nice because of the white flowers with the yellow centers. So um, that's the primrose. Uh, we've got some uh, Fritillaria meagris looking quite well now. Uh, mixed colours, it's a white as well as the normal s snake bark one, just coming now. And also looking its best is at the back, uh, Pachyphragma, and I'll put the name up on top of the um, screen. But this is a plant I grew from seed a few years back, and um, what I did was in, uh, I think around about February, I cut all the leaves back off it. Um, and it looks good now because you can see the flowers properly. If you don't cut the leaves back, then um, they kind of detract from it. But it's a really good doer for a dark border. And it spreads, as you can see from, um, you know, uh, well, from the multitude of it really. So grown from seed, but a, a great little doer. And um, I've kind of spread it out a bit as well, like that clump there. And further at the back and I'll do more of that now after it finishes flowering. This cute little ornithogallum is about to flower. I got this from a fantastic nursery in Lithuania. I'll put the link up at the beginning of the video and it's flanked there in the background by um, Hookera creme brulee and that Kennedy uh, primrose drum cliff. Drum cliff. This is a giant chinodoxa, or a glory of the snow. I think it's called giant blue, but it's quite tall compared to the little ground-hugging ones we're used to. And just coming into flower now are my cowslips. And these are an orange strain. Um, I'll put the name up at, um, on top of the video. That's the first one in flower. 
So Primula varus, which is normally pink, but this particular strain is orange and it looks pretty good when it's in flower against that glorious orange hose and hose Primula at the back. The Reticulata irises at the front here have finished flowering. The blue flowers are all gone, but the Hepatica here is out. Now this one is uh, the species form, uh, Hepatica nobilis, and it's been much tardier in coming than the other cultivar I have further up. This one is only just opened now. And right at the back here, my I think this is my favorite primrose of them all. It is just gorgeous. Look at that, the orange color on it. But um, <laughs> let's see if we can go in close to show you. It's actually a hose and hose type. You see how the you've got kind of like one flower inside of another? Gorgeous little thing. I think this was originally grown from Barnhaven seed. Barnhaven is a wonderful um, seed nursery, primrose nursery in France, which is worth checking out. Here we have the um, Hepatica, the cultivar that I featured in, our, in my Mother's Day video, and that's still looking tip top. This year I removed the leaves and I think that's helped me, you know, view the flowers better. Behind it we have hydrangeas, which are pretty skeletal at the moment, but they're for later in the season. And at the back of the border here, we have a variety of hellebores. We're behind the cherry uh, tree now, and you can see these uh, white hellebores, quite plain, but they did a, a good job all last month of just livening up this border. So a dark hellebore here and a bumblebee on it. Over we, here we have a, a double pink, which is a particularly nice one. Uh, and over further there, there's a double white and some other nice double ones uh, behind. I don't know if you can see, but uh, there's a couple of doubles. And um, these hellebores were hillier double mixed, um, well, selection of small plants that I bought a while back and um, they're lovely doubles and uh, Picatee ones there on the right and that's just looking down the border a bit. This section of the border is quite blank at the moment as the hardy orchid bed hasn't started doing anything much. If you look closely you can see the snouts of the Calanthe there at the back um, but other than that not much. At the back of the border I have variegated um, Fatsia, which is looking a lot less variegated since I put it in the shade. I thought it'd be a great idea, you know, to have something bright to kind of, you know, um, brighten up the, the, the darkness, but um, it's lost some of its variegation. And this plant here at the front is Mechanopsis nepalensa. It's a monocarpic plant, so that means that, um, well, it looks gorgeous for a couple of years and then it flowers. And after it flowers, it dies, but um, it should produce, produce so much seed that, you know, you'll have plenty to sow again. But I just love the leaves. It's gorgeous and really soft if we go in there. Soft, soft and lovely and lovely all through winter. It doesn't die back at all. Mechanopsis nepalense. And this is Primrose Mary Cruz, which I split and... Um, divided last last spring after flowering and it's a really good doer but it's got these lovely double flowers i wonder can we see that very very attractive so it's raining now and quite heavily because it is march and i'm going inside for a nice cup of tea come back again next month and see what the border is doing then Thanks for watching. Bye now.